Hello everyone. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about SQL command. So, what is DDL, DML, TCL, DCL command, and DQL? So, in this, uh, right? So, this is part two of SQL command. So, we are going to discuss uh, DDL and few DML commands in this particular lecture. Okay. So, first one is update. So, what is update? So, update statement is used to modify existing record in a particular table, and this is the syntax for creating a update statement so update we have to use update then what is whatever is the table name so what table we want to update that is basically a table name okay so here, here we have to change our table name set so set is also a predefined keyword so set what set so this is column one column one equals to value one so this we have to change it here right so we have to do changes here and where but what we have to set and on based on which attribute so this is basically a condition right so we have to change the condition here this is basically a syntax of update at update set where is the thing okay in the question if they ask for update uh, command so they may tell you update table name and after that they will mention where then after this they will mention set so please remember it should be update set where okay so this is what uh, update command is now suppose for example this is our syntax right for example i want to update the age of a uh, student whose role number is da D03, right? So, how to update the roll number of this particular student? For example, I want to change from 23 to 32, okay? So, what statement I have to write, right? So, update, so, right? So, what I have to write, update, after update, table name. What is table name? That is student. Update, student, set, what we have to set? Set, age. so what we have to set? Age, age equals to 32. Age equals to 32, we have to set, but of whom? of row number equals to this particular so we have to see where row number equals to da03 okay then only i will update then only i can update the value of a particular student so if i execute this particular command so value of h will be 32 all right after execution because we are updating a data of a tape we are updating a data of a student whose row number is da03 so okay and here is the roll number is the primary key so it will have unique plus not null constraint unique plus not null constraint right now suppose i have already mentioned like this okay if i want to update a roll number if i want to update a data of this particular student but if in the exam suppose statement is given to you so update the age of this particular student roll number so you have to apply this particular condition only right you can add one, one more condition also right update a uh, age of a student whose roll number is this but for example i want to update a uh, age of a uh, student whose name is rajesh right so there are two rajesh here so if i just change name equals to rajesh i have to uh, do right and in this case for both the rajesh the record will get updated right so instead of roll number i just mention here okay so instead of roll number so update student set age equals to 32 where name equals to rajesh right so first two line will be same update student set h equals to 32 where name equals to rajesh so in this case both the record will get updated to 32 okay so that's why it is very important while updating a particular row we always not always but we generally try to use primary key because it will have unique plus not null consent that's why primary key uniquely identifies each and every row in a particular table okay so this is what update statement is what about delete so delete statement is used to remove a record from a particular table now if i want to delete this particular record of a da05 what i can do delete from so table name we have to change where condition we have to change so delete right so delete from which table so delete from which table from student right so what i have to delete where if i want to delete a record of this particular student where roll number equals to da05 okay so if i execute this particular command so this row will get deleted from a database okay this is what a delete command is right also if you forget to mention the where condition here if you just mention delete from a student you didn't mention the where condition then all the row will get deleted right then all row will get deleted all the rows will get deleted right delete from student that's it so all the rows will get deleted but we have to specify the condition here okay okay so this is what delete statement is now what about alter so alter statement is used to modify the structure of an existing table okay very important modify the structure okay structure so this is our 
ddl command right so update is dml command delete is dml command right we have discussed and this is our ddl command alter so alter statement is used to modify the structure of an existing table suppose i have this particular table student but i want to add a new column to this particular table so how to add a new column to so alter table so this is a keyword so here we have to change table name so alter table student add is a keyword so here we have to mention the column name and the data types or a constraint is there or not so for example i want to add one more column here right so suppose on this particular side so i am writing it here right suppose i want to add co a credit okay credit having data type uh integer right and okay so what i can do simply add a new column that is alter table what is table name that is student add okay what is column name add column credit add column credit integer data type so that's it if i run this particular query so credit column will get added in the particular student table okay so please remember this syntax then how to modify data type of existing column for example i have mentioned dear roll number data type as where care okay so where care uh, six but i want to change this where care to care and in that case i can use this particular syntax that is alter table instead of table name we have to just change to student alter column so which column we have to alter so alter column we have to specify alter column this is a keyword because we are updating a column here right so alter column column name is basically a roll number so this will be my uh, roll number right and type is also keyword so this is a keyword for this new data type so data type will be care six if i want to update a data type of this particular attribute so i have to uh, alter table table name we have to specify alter column also we have to specify which column we want to alter then type means so it will ensure that we are altering the data type of a particular column name so this will be new data type that is care so, so this is how we can modify a data type of an existing column so what about renaming a column so for example instead of name i want to uh, say s name okay that is student name right so what i can do alter table so table name will be student rename so column name will be my name to name to what s name if i want to change column name name to s name then simply this is a alter command okay so i hope you understanding this particular thing so how we are altering the table or a or a columns in a table right so this is how we can do the changes in a table so there are a few more alter uh, commands are there like for primary key suppose we have created a table but we didn't add a primary key right because uh, every table can have only one primary key and primary key is optional even a table cannot have a primary key also but at max only one primary key can be there right so this is what add a primary key so alter table table name so we have to add the constraint so this primary key is a constraint so add constraints whatever the constraint name you have to give you can mention the constraint name then this primary key will be this particular column name okay so this is what uh, our primary key is rename a table so if i want to change the student name to say for example enroll student right change student to enroll underscore student so in that case what i can do alter table that old table name will be my student rename to new table name right so this is a syntax for renaming a table drop a column right so suppose if i want to drop this particular column so previously we have seen how to add a column now if, if you are dropping a column so how to do that alter table table name drop column we have to change the column name we have to change the table name so that's it our column will get removed from a particular table but please make sure this column doesn't have any dependency on other table right so then it will throw an error if we have some uh, constraint to it so this is how a simple alter statement is so please go through all the commands okay try to note it down try to make the notes you just have to remember the syntax because rest of the things i think are same we just have to change table name and the column name and whatever we want to do right that's about the alter command okay so that's it from this particular lecture so we have discussed about update delete and alter command right so in the next lecture we'll discuss about difference between drop truncate and delete okay so we are going to discuss uh, this command in the next lecture because difference is very important 
this difference between these three are very important okay a small tutorial will be there of just uh, five to ten minutes but uh, it will be uh, very useful okay so that's it from this particular lecture thank you